Hey friends, Tracy here with Sweet Bay Lane. Are you ready to DIY craft an adorable project using Dollar Tree wood cutouts and the tumbling tower game pieces? If so, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and run down the supplies we're going to be using for this DIY. You're going to need one of the tumbling tower games from the Dollar Tree. You'll need 15 pieces. You'll also need this adorable rabbit wood cutout from the Dollar Tree as well. You can find it in their Easter department. Along with a rubber stamper of your choice, I'm going to be using this beautiful one I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby, an ink pad, and your favorite paint colors. I'm going to be using these two, actually three paint colors, but two of them are from Apple Barrel. One is Key West and Burnt Umber, and the green is by Anita's, and it's called Artichoke Heart Green. You'll also need a paintbrush. Now we're going to set all this aside, and we're going to start preparing our tumbling tower box. And for this it's quite easy. We're going to take 15 pieces and we're going to glue them together in sets of three. Then we'll take those sets of three and glue them together alternating between horizontally and vertically. And to glue them we'll be using wood glue. And once we have all of our pieces glued together, we'll set them aside to dry and we'll move on to preparing our bunny wood cutout. And for mine, I'm going to be painting it the Key West Blue by Apple Barrel. I paint my bunny both front and back, leaving the ear and the tail bare. And once your paint is dried, you'll come in and sand the surface. Now we're going to paint the raised part of our wood cutout, and that's going to be the inside of the one ear and the tail. And to do this, I'm just going to be using this apple barrel in nutmeg brown and a makeup sponge, making sure to not get it on the blue paint. Now that we have our ear and tail done, we're going to use this dap spackle and we're going to fill in the hanger hole at the top of the other ear. Now we want to paint our wood blocks or our tumbling tower game pieces we glued together to make this one solid piece. I'm going to be using this Artichoke Heart Green by Anita's. And once we have our base painted, we'll bring back in our bunny wood cutout and we'll sand the wood spackle flush with our bunny's ear. Then we'll come in and touch it up with the paint. Hey, if you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. We'd love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. We're going to add some dry brushing to our wood cutout. And for this, I'm going to be using the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel with a one and a half inch brush I purchased from Walmart. I'm 
going to go a little heavier on the edges of my wood cutout and then just drag it gently across the whole piece giving it a more aged look. Now if you get a little heavy handed like I did here, you'll just take some sandpaper and just sand the spot away and continue dry brushing. Now it's looking adorable already, but now we're moving on to the really fun part of this DIY and that's going to be working with our rubber stamp and our ink pad. I start by just applying the ink to the rubber stamp, then I'm going to stamp the bottom of my bunny. And this stamp was perfect, it fit the curve of the bunny's tail. And I have to admit, I was so excited when I removed that rubber stamp. It is so adorable. And next we're going to take and glue our bunny wood cutout to the green base of tumbling tower blocks. And to do that I just took two of the tumbling tower blocks, painted them the matching color in the Key West blue, and then I'm going to glue those to the base of my bunny wood cutout. Once those are dry I'm then going to glue that to the green base. Oh, it's looking so cute already. But I'm going to take mine to the next level and I'm going to be using one of these wood word cutouts from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to just glue mine to the center of my bunny with some hot glue. And then we'll add some green Excelsior moss to the base of our bunny with some hot glue. Just make sure to be very careful because that glue will sneak right through that moss. And I finished by giving a little trim to my Excelsior Moss. I hope this inspires you to make something crafty of your own. Well, until next time, keep it crafty!